I didn't see you come in. I was just playing a tune on my flute. Oh, but you were wondering how to properly take care of your very own flute? Well, you're in luck. You see, I am a professional flutologist, renowned by many nations across the galaxy. <laughs> now, come with me as I take you on a journey through my eight-step process of proper care and maintenance of the flute. Step one, identify your flute. In order to take care of your flute, first you must identify your flute. If your flute has a bell and a slide, that's trombone. Step two, name your flute. Once you've gotten every other garbage instrument out of the way, it's time to name your flute. Naming your flute can take anywhere between two to three years. You have to know your flute through and through, and when the time is right, the answer will come to you. Setsuna. Step three, putting your flute together. When putting your flute together, first you must open the case, revealing the beauty within, much like opening a clam to find a beautiful glistening pearl. Gently grab the body and the foot joint and slide them together. Line up this screw with the center of the keys. Next, grab the head joint and slide it into the body. If you look down along the flute, the hole should line up with the keys. Do not push the head joint all the way in. The exact placement of the head joint will vary from flute to flute as this is how you tune the flute. If you're having trouble sliding the pieces together, simply run your finger under water and scrub at the problem areas. Do not, I repeat, do not use cork grease, Yvette. Does this look like cork to you? No, it's metal. Throw any cork grease at the clarinet section where the rest of the garbage belongs. Step four, sticky keys. A common problem many flautists run into is sticky keys. This isn't anything to be alarmed by. It is simply a sign that your flute is well used and well loved. For a quick, easy fix, Grab a well-used dollar bill and slide it under the key. Then, press down the key, sliding the dollar out from under it, like so. Keep in mind that this is a temporary fix to a permanent problem. For a more permanent solution, invest in a stack of pad paper. They are inexpensive and can be found at any music store. With the pad paper, slide the paper under the key and press down the key two or three times, getting the chalk onto the pad like so. Step 5. Screws and Springs Another common issue you may run into while playing the flute has to do with screws and springs. As you can see, the flute is a very intricate piece of machinery. Every part of it is a delicate cog in the gears of music. If one screw or spring is out of place, this could risk jeopardizing the integrity of the musical world. But not to worry, many of these problems have simple solutions. A small, flat-headed screwdriver can be used to loosen or tighten any screws. The most common screw to become loose is this one right here. Springs can be even trickier to fix. In my experience, I found that using something long and thin, such as a mechanical pencil, can be used to put a spring into the correct place if you cannot fix a spring, notify your instructor and take your flute to a repair shop. Step 6. Give your flute enough love. Much like a young child, a flute needs to feel love and care. Be sure to feed your flute a healthy diet with fruits and vegetables. Spend quality time with your flute. Play video games together. Go for a stroll. Read it a bedtime story. Build a special bond with your flute. In time, your flute will love you in return. Step 7. Pad Replacement 
With all woodwind instruments, the pads under the keys need to be replaced whenever they are damaged. Pads can be damaged simply with use, but this damage can be accelerated by exposing your flute to water. Do not, I repeat, do not take your flute outside in the rain. If you are in marching band and it's a rainy day, I advise playing a tambourine instead. You should take your flute to a repair shop at least once a year to get pads replaced. Typically, only one or two pads will need to be replaced at a time, but this regular checkup will increase the lifetime and quality of your flute. Step 8. Putting your flute away. Once you are finished playing the flute, it needs to be returned to its case. But first, it must be cleaned. Almost every flute will come with a cleaning rod and a cleaning cloth. Simply slide a corner of the cloth through the head of the rod. Slide the rod through the different pieces of the flute, cleaning the inside. Then, gently place the pieces back in their proper places inside of the case. Thank you all for coming on this magical journey with me. We shared some laughs, we shared some tears, but together we grew closer in our love for the flute. If you have any further questions, you can always reach me via smoke signal or carrier pigeon. You have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time.